Good morning, fellow winner peeps. I am Scarab and you're watching Scarabic Enterprises. Hope you're all doing well. I am watching something at the moment and I figured I should probably film it. Um, this is a launch from NASA and it looks really interesting. So we're currently at uh, two minutes and 50 seconds until uh, startup. And I guess I'll just film my reaction to, uh, to to what's happening. I mean, every time NASA does something this big, I only just came across it. I didn't even know it was happening. Um, but every time okay, NASA does something this big, big it, it ends up being like a, a major thing. So I figured, I know I'm a gamer and I know I'm a YouTuber, but this is really interesting. I mean, space exploration. You guys know I'm into sci-fi and stuff. So I don't know. I don't exactly know what's going on here. I know that the... Uh, they don't have it, uh, any humans inside this shuttle, but they, um, or rocket or whatever it's called. Uh, they don't have anything inside it. I think it's called the dragon, but there is a, like a, a mannequin or something inside there that's, uh, programmed. It, it's got a lot of, uh, like, uh, sensory. The water out. What? Oh, it's got a lot of sensory stuff inside the, uh, inside the pretend person. And, um, <laughs> We're going to get like uh, some studies between what is going to happen with um, with real human beings. Like what what's what's the stress limit on the neck at breakneck speeds and uh, like literally breakneck speeds and stuff. And seeing if it's viable to have a human traveling at such speeds uh, into space. So I don't Sorry, know. It's just really interesting started. to see um, all the different things that they're going to be doing with this, and they're trying to make it so then all of us are able to go into space at some point in time. Now the seats have been made specifically out of carbon fiber for everyone um, that is going to go into space at some point. Um, so this is uh, <laughs> this is just really interesting. Now, I don't know if they're showing this again or if this is a second launch. I'm actually confused by that. I don't know if they've got the launch Falcon on repeat. Here we go, start up. Fal the complete. Falcon 9 flight computers have taken control of the countdown. Okay, cool. Well, this is really cool. Um, I did see something before and I, I don't know if this is a second launch or not. Go for launch. Stage two is pressing for flight. Okay, so we've got 40 seconds before, uh, before, before startup. I mean, before launch, startups are already happening. This is really cool. This is really exciting. I mean, I, um, I just love space and rockets and all that sort of stuff. I'd hate to be in space, don't get me wrong. Uh, I mean, there, there are ways that I would like to be in space. Maybe if it was like a world like Star Trek or something, that would be really cool. Also terrifying, but really cool. Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. Count with me. Ten. Ten. Nine. Nine. Eight. Eight. Seven. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off! Ignition, lift off. Nice! Oh, this is so cool! Where is it? Oh, there it is. Alright, so we're currently at 240 kilometers per hour. Altitude of... 1k now. Jeez! It's so fast! 400k's, 450k's, 500k's. Oh, that's rapidly climbing too. Oh man! Okay! Seven up, 750k's. 800k's, oh my god. Altitude, 5k's. For those of you just joining us, you are watching a live view of the Falcon 9 rocket as it ascends through a thousand the case. carrying the SpaceX Dragon 2 capsule to vehicle orbit. Is super the vehicle just passed through max Q, which is the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. Awesome! As you can hear in the background, the excitement at SpaceX headquarters is unbelievable here. Yeah, of course it is. is passing through max Q. This is awesome! Heard that call out from Max Q on the nets. Uh, the Falcon 9 actually throttles down its nine Merlin engines to reduce aerodynamic loads on the vehicle. 2K. Uh, oh man, this is so way. fast. Why? Is, it looks like it's going sideways though. I don't like the look of that. 
coming Get off the screen, you liking and subscribing. Three events in quick succession. The first one is going to be the main engine cutoff, or Miko. Yeah. That's when the nine Merlin 1D engines that you can see on your screen right now uh, will cut off uh, shortly before a stage separation at two minutes and 38 seconds. This is amazing. This is like really shortly cool. After that, the Merlin vacuum engine on the bottom of the second stage of the Falcon 9 will ignite. Four thousand kilometers an hour. SES that will be at two minutes and 46 seconds. And the speedometer is just going Stand up and up and up and up and up. Engine cut off, stage separation, and second engine start coming up in just about. Oh, cool, cool, seconds cool! From now. We're about to see the separation. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I know it's it's not my usual content, but uh, I just thought this was really cool, and I felt like I should share it with you. Where something's happening. Whoa! Hey! Oh, that's so cool. Boom! Oh, damn! Oh, what? Oh, you can see the coils inside and everything. That looks wicked. As you can hear from the cheering here at SpaceX headquarters, uh, we did have a successful main engine cut off, a stage separation. And uh, as you can see on the right-hand side of your screen, that second uh, second stage engine is currently started and That's accelerating amazing. Dragon towards orbit. On the left-hand side of your screen, that is a view from this first stage as it makes its way back down towards the Earth. <laughs> uh, let's go down to Lauren and Dan for updates on that first stage recovery. Oh, this is so cool! All right, so as you can just see, we yeah, I think they're playing this on a loop for a while, but this is so awesome. I just I didn't I didn't want anyone to miss this, and I know there's going to be recording footage of it as well. But I I want to give this to you as soon as possible, just because it's so amazing. I, I don't know if you guys are interested in any uh, like space exploration or science fiction type stuff, or landing on the moon, or landing on Mars, or doing anything. But this is really cool. They're testing out all the all the factors that would come with like you know regular human space exploration. So then everyone can do it. This is the next stage to sending civilians to space. It's going to be super expensive, but this is really cool. Man, it's 708, I mean 7,800 kilometers, 900 kilometers. Oh my god, this is so fast. That's 8k right. while all that's happening the second stage which you can see glowing bright here continuing to power dragon it's going to continue burning until just about nine minutes after launch so that's amazing nine seconds is where it's targeted to cut off down to a single engine but that one providing a little over two hundred thousand pounds of thrust so to carry fast to the upper parts of earth's atmosphere not as much resistance and this is in the second stage and it's going to get Dragon into that initial orbit, and it's still going to be a couple hundred kilometers beneath the station, and then it'll be turned over to thrusters on Dragon once it separates from that second stage, huh. and then begin the chase down of the orbiting laboratory. But five minutes, 11 seconds, and counting past launch. All the calls so far indicating nominal performance. So we're continuing to see great stuff. Man, so this is insane. Both Falcon, uh, Holy crap! Really, okay, ten thousand kilometers an hour. Looking good on power. That is so fast. Stage one continues to come back nominally. As you can see, there's a passenger there, but that's not a human. That's a uh, like a dummy that has been set up with a lot of uh, a lot of interesting equipment to to suss out all the stress damage on a person's neck and head and body and everything to find out if um, if this is viable. Like, I mean, this is ridiculous amounts of, of speed and acceleration, like... Wow! So, it's in orbit at the moment. Altitude 221 kilometers, and it's still just picking up speed. This is amazing. Fuck, 13k! 13,000 kilometers an hour and it's still climbing! 
This is just, just ridiculous. This must be a record. This has to be a record. My God. If you guys weren't here to see this live, I recommend sharing the hell out of this video just because you don't want people to miss out on this. Like, share it with your kids, share it with your family, share it with your friends. This is amazing. Right, we're over seven minutes since that lift off. You don't even have to watch my channel to, to see this. Like, just, just look it up, man. It's so good. Hang on a sec. What's, the, uh, what's it called? Watch live SpaceX to launch Falcon 9 rocket hashtag Crew Dragon. And this is on the, the channel Space and Universe Official. Man, this is so cool! This is absolutely amazing. They're approaching 18,000 kilometers an hour at an altitude of 208 kilometers. Altitude is dropping. Stage one FTS is safe. Stage entry one, burn. Entry burn has started. Fuck! Twenty thousand kilometers and rising. My. Back to back action now as we see stage one coming what? back down towards Earth. Stage two still making its way up into outer space. That's insane. We're on top, getting ready. Stage one entry burn yeah. shutdown. And there's the end of that stage one stage shutdown. Two. Man, that is amazing. So stage one's going to continue to coast. 20! Way down using those grid fins for attitude control. 24 kilometers an hour. That is ridiculous amounts of speed. Oh, and it's going even faster now. 200, uh, tw 25,000 kilometers an hour and a half. 26,000 kilometers an hour. This is the fastest thing I've ever seen. This is so cool. Second stage cut off one Falcon is now in orbit and is preparing to deploy the Crew Dragon spaceship. And we have had a successful shutdown. Ben back. Amazing! Right. That was instant! Stage one landing burn is supposed to start. At the start of that burn, stage one will be traveling at 275 meters per second. That's that is amazing. Going to bring that from 275 to zero. Did you just hear that stage one landing burn has started? Landing burn. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see if we get it. It was going 200 and 25. Thousand kilometers an hour, and now it's landed. <laughs> How did it slow down so quickly? That is just absolutely amazing. That is amazing, man. And this is all automated. The vehicle will now undergo its safing procedures. And the recovery team will make sure it's strapped down and it'll make its way back to Earth. Or, sorry, back to <laughs> Cape Canaveral. It's already on Earth. It's on Earth. So, there's still a lot more to go here. Uh, we have Dragon Separation coming up. Let's go back to Tom Perderio to cover that next big milestone. Wow, what I'll be honest, I'm not 100% uh, certain on what is going on, but it's so cool. Seconds here. Uh, the Dragon spacecraft is going to be separating from the top of the Falcon 9 rocket. Okay. Separation should be occurring around 11 minutes and 5 seconds. Just about now. Let's wait for confirmation. Dragon, separation confirmed. What? Oh! And there it is. You're looking at a view from the top of the second stage of the Falcon 9 rocket. And uh, hard to make out in the uh, shadow of the Earth, but that is the... Dragon 2 spacecraft uh, flying in space for the first time 
That's amazing. Successful separation. Wow, that is amazing. Live coverage from not only here at SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California, but also NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Oh, uh, well. it is on a loop. It's on a loop. Okay, cool. Well, that was probably already amazing. That was absolutely amazing. That was really, really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I don't know why. I just I just thought it was really cool and I needed to share it with you guys because I mean you guys are my life now, so Man, we watched it together, okay? Damn! SpaceX to launch Falcon 9 rocket. Hashtag Crew Dragon. Check it out. If you have any questions you need to ask uh, NASA, then hashtag Crew Dragon. There you go. But, man, damn. Thank you so much for joining me with this. This is really cool. I don't know if I'm even allowed to use this footage because I'm taking it from a live stream. But, you know, I don't even care. I don't, like, they can take the video down if they really want to take the video down. I just thought that this was really cool and that I needed to share it with you guys. I don't care about the views or anything. I, I, just, I just wanted to share this with you because this is just amazing. Like, I mean, this is just so cool. How often do you get to see NASA launch something, you know, in, in your lifetime? Because this is just, oh man, I mean, I, I wasn't alive for the moon landing. This is so cool. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to have to leave this here, but thank you for joining me. I'm just really excited to see this. I was in the middle of making videos and stuff, and then this happened. I was like, what? <laughs> oh god all right well thank you all for watching you're watching scarabic enterprises please like share and subscribe hit that bell button to do me a favor let people know i exist and i'll see you soon in a peeps